Hello, welcome to episode number two for Christmas in July. And I just wanted to show you how I do appliques without using my um, monogram, my um, embroidery machine, <clears throat> excuse me. So the first thing I do is I print out on, um, on my printer or freehand draw, whatever it is that I want to applique. And it's usually, mostly I do letters. Um, but today I want to put um, this sewing machine on a pocket of, of the bag that I'm making. So I just wanted to show you guys because um, when you're doing Christmas gifts, sometimes you like to make stuff extra special or unique. So applique is one way that you can do that. So this is just my, I call it my lazy applique and I just wanted to share with you how I do it. So what I did was I, I, put, I printed this out on my printer but you can freehand draw whatever you want. You just need something that you can use for a template or a pattern. So I'm gonna take this and trace it on the back of this. So this is my fabric. So when you have fabric, this one is a um is a, a decor weight, a home home decor weight fabric. So I really didn't have to um interface it but if you're using like a cotton or something what you want to use for interfacing what I normally use is called heat and bond light so what you're going to do with that is you're going to put it on the back of your fabric and then you would you know draw I would draw on the side where the um heat and bond is so you could see in the pencil so you would you're going to have to do it backwards because that way when you turn it around it'll be the right way so you would put it on there you would trace it and cut it out but what heat and bun light is it's going to have a film on there and you're going to peel that film off and you would then put that to your other fabric and it will help seal it down while you attach your your little applique so right now i'm going to go and draw mine and cut and cut it out and i actually want this to be the sewing machine and I want this to be the outline. So I'm actually gonna cut out two. One gonna be a little larger than the other. And then I'll be back and show you how I'm gonna put it on my pocket. So I just wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see where I traced this out and I'm gonna cut this out and then I'll be back. Okay, I got my pocket ready. Um, so I'm gonna pull everything up and I'm going to align I have my little appliques ready. So, like I told you, I wanted to um, outline with the yellow so it's gonna look like this. So I'm just going to pin it to my pocket how I want it. And on uh, this machine that I'm using, it's only a straight stitch, but normally I like to use um, a zigzag stitch. So. You can use whatever kind of stitch you want. What you're gonna do is just go, and, and you may have to go slow, but you're just gonna um, go around, around your applique, just really slow, and whatever stitch that you prefer from your machine. I just have a straight stitch machine, so today I'm only gonna do a straight stitch, but normally, like I said, I usually do a, um, I usually do a, a zigzag stitch just because I, I like it and I like the way it looks so I don't know if I'm going to do um I don't know if I'm going to sew it down um if I'm going to sew both of them like do a stitch on the I don't know if I'm gonna do a stitch on the color and the yellow because my my um my thread is black and I just changed it to this black and I don't want to change it again so I'm thinking about just going around once on the colors, color one, and then that'll attach both of them. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, first of all, I wanna pin this down so it'll stay in place. So now I pinned this how I want it, and I'm just gonna go around the edge of the colored one with my, um, with my straight stitch. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Okay, 
I got you a little closer. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna go back a couple stitches. And then I'm just gonna go around. And like I said, you have, might have to go slow, but all, the, all you're doing is basically tracing around the shape that you have. And when you get to some areas, you may have to stop and pivot. And when you pivot, make sure your needle is down in the fabric because that's gonna help hold everything in place. Like I say, I use, I really I really love doing this with a um with a um, zigzag stitch. It just it just gives it a little a little more character, I, as you, I guess you want to say. But this is a straight stitch machine I'm using today. And I do this method when I have um sometimes like if my my um grandchildren like for the boys especially because it's so it's just so hard to do birthday outfits so what i would do is do the sh uh, make them a pair of shorts in the character fabric and take that same character fabric and do this to the shirt so i would just go get like a you know a little shirt from hobby lobby i think they have them for 2.99 or 3.99 i would get one of those shirts and cut out the letter for their name. I get the heat and bond light, like I told you before. And then I will just cut out a letter. And a lot of times I just, I just, um, I do the letter by hand. I really, um, today I did the sewing machine just because um, I felt like it would be easier than me trying to draw it. But um, when it comes to the letters, the basic letters, I usually do that um, by hand. I don't usually, I don't usually cut that. You know, I don't usually have to um, print that out. But it, I mean, if that's what you prefer, because some people don't like their handwriting or they feel that they can't draw, which it all just looks like character to the to the um, project to me. Even if it's wonky, it's still it's still cute. So. But to each his own, I just wanted to show you a quick way to add a little element of being a little applique to your projects for this coming up holiday season or just any gift that you may be getting and you want to maybe help personalize their gift. And maybe you don't have an em um, yeah, embroidered machine or maybe you don't know how to hand embroider. This is a this is an easy, quick way to put on an applique. I do this all the time. No complaints. As long as they shirt match they <laughs> match their bottoms, I that's all that they care about in my family anyway. But I just wanted to put this little sewing machine on my little sewing sewing machine bag, and I thought, okay, this would be a great opportunity to do another um, Christmas in July because you know Christmas time is is where or any gift giving time is where we like to do personalized. You already making something from your heart because it's handmade. And that's when we do a lot of personalization on items. And I just wanted to give you an option to do something personal on, on an item. If somebody likes stars, you can maybe get stars out of different fabric. This would be a great scrap buster. You could cut fat stars out of fabric. You can do circles, you could do squares whatever um whatever kind of applique you want to do and this little method it just works and then sometimes on your on your sewing machines you should some people have you know you have different kinds of stitches and you may be able to do if it's something that's not complicated like maybe a circle Maybe you can use one of those fancy stitches to go around it and do your applique. It all depends on what you want to do and what you can imagine in your mind. It's, it's, I mean, it's endless possibilities when you're creating your own items. Okay. So now I'm finished. I don't think I'm going to do the other one because if I watch this, this 
fabric right here, it will fray. And I think that that's gonna be cute. So I'm gonna leave this like that. I'm gonna cut off the little extra. But this is my little short sewing machine applique. I, I, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. <laughs> it's my little applique. And it's gonna be on the pocket of my bag. So don't forget to tune in um, Friday for my Friday so so you can see how my entire bag looks. But I just wanted to show you, this is something you can do to personalize an item or a gift. And it's quick and it's easy. This was just the the shape that I chose. You can do whatever um, shape that you like to do. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you go and sew something fabulous. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day.